Porto Calopita. Porto Calopita. Porto Calopita. Porto Calopita. Porto Calopita. There we go. <laughs> Today we're going to be cooking with a little bit of decadence. Actually, a lot of decadence. This recipe has three cups of sugar, a cup of extra virgin olive oil, and a lot of phyllo dough. So I know that many of you will be like, no, that can't be Mediterranean. It is. This is from the Greek island of Crete. And even though in the Mediterranean, people usually eat fruit for dessert, sometimes they have a celebration, a party, and they'll have something like this. And this is orange cake, Greek orange cake, also called porta colopita. Porta colopita. There we go. <laughs> it's one of those things. Anyways, we're gonna make it today. And the cool thing about it, it really takes very little time to prep. And then you just put it in the oven and you've got your decadence in about an hour. All right, let's get cooking. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and greasing a nine by 13 inch casserole dish with the best extra virgin olive oil you can find. Next, zest the skin of two oranges. Orange zest gives this cake recipe an aromatic and fragrant flavor that is absolutely out of this world. Crack four eggs in a large mixing bowl. Add one cup of sugar and one cup of that super good, extra amazing, extra virgin olive oil. Mix the eggs, sugar, and olive oil until it starts to get creamy. Add two cups of a full fat Greek yogurt. Might as well be full fat, right? We're going for the gold here. Next, add the orange zest and three teaspoons of baking powder. Mix again until creamy. Now you hear often about how hard it is to use phyllo dough, which I've never really understood, but with this recipe, it is really super easy. Just tear up a pound of the delicate phyllo and drop it right into the batter. Pour the phyllo batter into your grease pan and put it in the oven. While the cake is cooking, you're gonna make a syrup to put on top. This is similar to making baklava, but instead of a honey syrup, you are making this wildly decadent orange syrup. Start by squeezing three cups of orange juice. It might help, unlike how we did it, if you begin with oranges that are supposed to be juiced. We didn't have juice oranges and we ended up using a ridiculous amount of oranges. Of course, you could use orange juice from a container, but the flavor just isn't gonna be the same. Bring the three cups of freshly squeezed orange juice and two cups of sugar to a boil, and then simmer for 20 minutes or until it's the consistency of maple syrup. Let's be honest here, this cake is swimming in syrup. If you want to cut back on sugar, you can cut the syrup recipe in half. I give you permission. You are going to bake the cake until a knife inserted in the center comes out clean. This is usually somewhere between 45 and 55 minutes. The top of the cake will have roasted and the inside will be like custard. While the cake is still warm, cut it into 20 pieces. Because it is a custardy cake, it won't cut quite like a birthday cake. Once the cake and the syrup have cooled off, pour the syrup on top of the cake. It's gonna seem like a lot of syrup, and it is, but this is the traditional recipe. Much of the syrup will be absorbed by the cake and the rest will be absorbed by you. And there you have it, Greek orange cake that is just dripping, literally dripping in syrup. It is so delicious. This is not something that I recommend that you have very often, but just once in a while and you should make sure that you have it with a very healthy dinner first and then have this and enjoy. And remember, love with abandon, live with purpose, and eat with passion.